Hi, I'm Mike Amani. I'm from DigiLink Technologies and today I'd like to show you an amazing new technology, PolyTIJ version 3i. What makes this ink really different is its ability to print on most packaging materials used in the world's packaging industry today. Today's demonstration is going to be a little bit different. We're not having a conveyor, we're just going to be using a PolyTIJ Series 1 printer using the new V3i cartridge and we're going to be printing on most packaging materials by hand to demonstrate the decap time, rub resistance and adhesion so you can see it first hand. What I'd like to print and show you is, is using a use by date best before and I'll do a couple of prints so you can see it. We're going to be printing this use by date on all the packaging materials. If we'd like to start off with first, um, I'd like to use and show you a, a commonly um, plain sheet of glass that you can get from a picture frame and we can print on that and you can see straight away the rub resistance on the rub resistance on glass is instantaneous. If we want to take that into the real packaging industry um, we can also go and print onto Moro oil bottle as an example. Again we've printed onto the glass instant dry time instant adhesion. Another common area that's quite um, commonly used in the packaging industry, also in the pharmaceutical industry, is multi-laminated bags. Um, here's a good example printed onto a multi-laminated bag. Instant dry, less than one second. Um, I'll demonstrate that to you now, printing onto this bag, it's a tie-back bag. If I get my finger rub across it, you can see instant dry, total adhesion. Another one that we used is a, a common multi-laminated bag again, aluminium foil bag. Again, instant dry time, instant adhesion. Another common material that's not often talked about when using thermal inkjet printing is printing onto tin cans. This has always been the domain of CIJ inkjet printers. If I get the tin can and run it across the printhead, you can see, again, instant dry, instant adhesion on the top of a tin can. Another, another one that's quite commonly used in the packaging industry is PET. Um, if we can print on this, if I get it set up properly, here we go. You can see instant dry, instant adhesion onto the PET. Another common one um, in, the, in the dairy industry is on um, high density polyethylene. Um, here's a good example. Now we've printed onto the outside of a um, high density polyethylene uh, cheese pack. I can take that sa same cheese pack and take the cheese slices from inside and we can print directly onto the cheese slices. Again, as you can see, I cannot rub that off. Instant dry, instant adhesion. Another area is into, um, is into PET or high density polyethylene for, um, for uh, margarine and um, butter tubs. Again, instant dry time, instant adhesion on high density polyethylene and PET. Another big area is in um, polypropylene yogurt tubs. Um, we can both print on the polypropylene and also on the outside of the tubs. This has been printed and we've got an instant dry, instant adhesion onto the polypropylene tubs. Another common area that's used for milk cartons is um, high density polyethylene. Again, we can print onto high density polyethylene. What I'd like to do now is just do a series of prints just to show you the variation in print quality and there isn't. So, what we now have from January 2014 is the ability to print using a thermal inkjet printer into applications that has been the domain of CIJ technology. Welcome to a new world with version 3i PolyTIJ.